college basketball. Uh, we love it. Our precious Alex is love child. College basketball. I'll start with you, Alex. I got a couple of questions for my friends. Okay. And I don't know the answer to it, but I don't, and I don't know if you have it either. But why is Xavier Booker not playing more? Um, because he can't rebound and he can't play defense. Our assistant coaches are morons. I mean, for the record, I think he should. I, it's all relative because it, two months ago, he if he started, he wouldn't have looked like he did yesterday. He just was not. He was like thirty pounds lighter. Couldn't like do anything. Which he said himself, like a week ago. Do we ago. actually though like believe he's gained all this weight? He doesn't look that different to me when I've seen yes. him play. Yes, like weight wise, Co- college athletes that-, that go from high school to college in a college strength and conditioning program. I'm sure Evan can attest to it. Uh, they get bigger. That's real. It's that fake. But I mean, you saw it. He gives up rebounds. His defense, his spatial awareness isn't great. He's that's why he because play. he's going for the block shot. That's why. <clears throat> and he's yeah. blocking and a lot of shots. Listen, I'm not saying he shouldn't play because he should. But if you're asking why he doesn't in the eyes of Tom Izzo, because he doesn't do the things that Tom requires of his program, which no one is. So that's why the argument should be he should just play because the rest stink anyways. It's defense, rebounding. Evan, you said assistant coaches. There, that makes me think I'll lead it into you. There was a clip of Tom on the bench. Um, it was the double big Cooper Sissoko with Cone Car lineup at the like middle of the first half, and the cameras caught Tom saying, this lineup is bad. And it just makes me think, is it the Wojcik uh-huh. guy who's uh-huh. calling the shots and Tom just let him do his thing, or what's going on I on the bench? I think is – Defensive subs and then Mark is offensive subs. Uh, but also, I think Woj well, could be just subs because I noticed during what game was I at? I was at the Michigan game and I noticed Woj well, was like he was pulling people off the bench during the Michigan game. Um, obviously, Izzo like approves on some of these subs- substitutions pre game. Like, I would say pre plan. So, like, the plan is okay, get a couple minutes here. Let's see what these guys can do together. Um, and clearly, obviously, that just wasn't the right game for it because I forgot. Uh, what was his What's his first name? Alex Arden? Is it Arden Key? Zed for Key. Ohio State. Zed, Zed Key. Arden now? Zed Key. It's Zed. It's, it's Zed. I, think I don't know what I'm thinking. Arden Key's a pass He's rusher. A He's a fellow LSU player. pass rusher. Yep. <laughs> what a Zed ball. Key. I forgot that guy even existed. And I was like, holy crap, this dude's coming off the bench because he cooked our ass like two years ago. He sucks Big now. Big backside. Though. He's very bad. Big backside. He, needs, he, he just, just needs to get worse. the he just needs to get on the ball. Yeah, so the two big post player lineups, I just time and place. Time and place. And I think the assistant co- or assistant coaches are not improving anybody. And for the record or defensively. Yeah. And I'm on the record Tom saying this though, beginning of the year. Has not done his own subbing uh, ever that's never he never has no and everyone's gonna argue well you're the head coach you're the head coach you can control anything yeah i saw that during the game i thought that's what he said i'm glad you pulled that up bad lineup because that's what i was thinking in my head and disbelief it was a terrible lineup bad lineup. terrible it was four (laughs) four guys that couldn't score yes the silk was out there yeah if the silk was out there you can't have another post player with him and jay wright arguing and saying that you Jay Wright's out there arguing, saying that I think it helps Sissoko. I was like, there's no way how this helps Sissoko. I actually no was trying to. <laughs> For how bad Sissoko's been the last like five games, I thought yesterday he was okay. I didn't think he was like the reason Michigan State lost. He was okay like, some people are Michigan around. too, defensively. He just doesn't give you any – literally zero benefit for him having the ball he, He's all. not going to score. He should honestly, when he's on offense, just go and just stay on defense and just stand in the paint and just play four and five. Or just stand at the top of the key and clear out the lane. Yeah. I don't know. It, I, I almost think I don't think somebody, it was his fault, though. No. He, he just not just, very good, though. Grant, we scored nine points in the last 12 minutes. We scored five in the last nine minutes. There's your answer. We can't put the ball oh, through the hoop situations. Why. I can tell you. I can tell you Mass why all that. Shot happens. selection. Tyson Walker didn't shoot well all game. And 
couple bad turnovers. Gun, I can, no, no, I can tell you. This is one person's take. One and nine, not great. Six to 24, not great. I bet on Aikens over points. That didn't hit. I bet on his over points, rebounds, assists. That didn't hit. If they didn't shoot well. I mean, there's nothing. I did. Midway through the second half, I was like, wow, we have not hit any threes. I think we had hit one at that point. I was like, we just, Booker was the only one who made a three. I think we finished with three. Yeah. And I think Ohio State finished with three. It was that last we had three shot. in the first five what? minutes. And oh, yeah, we did. It felt. Malik hit one, and who else hit one right back? Hogard even hit one. And Malik, yeah. Hogard, and Booker hit the only threes of the game, and it was in the first five minutes. Uh, I said to Evan <laughs> during the game that it just felt like uh, like we thought it was a preseason game because we just saw every lineup imaginable for 40 minutes. And then they were messing around with it so much that once Ohio State came back, you had to put all your starters in, and they just like – hadn't been playing that much, like weren't really like locked in. Well, so then you're asking those dudes to get back into the the rhythm now that it's a tight close a 12 game. point lead with 12 minutes left. All your starters and it was except never for Booker. close. All your starters All your except, starters, for yeah. except yeah. for Booker. Crazy. Correct. Crazy. Well, great. You have to that offensive you rebound. Know. You should call the timeout. <laughs> Matty grabs that offensive rebound. You have to call a timeout. You have two of them. Timeout instantly. Boom. Yeah, yeah, possession of the ball. I don't know what you put pressure on Ohio State. But... The trade-off is that if Booker is playing, he his, the offense will probably score, and then the defense will give up points. It'll be just like back and forth. That's what was happening that's when he what, was in. But that's what you needed because you were in an offensive lull. you got to pick your spots. I mean, you have to also remember that the defense wasn't playing like shit. They held him to 60 no. points. I know, and when he was in, the defense wasn't that bad. He has three blocks. Those are good possessions. He's blocking shots. I think shots. in this He's game situation, I think I'm think I'm risking it. I think I'm risking the defense for for he offensive also production. Would be asking 100%. a freshman who plays four minutes a game to close out a game and he to guard another enough. freshman. Like yeah, not not What's freshman. The, but they yeah. lost. I mean, I just don't. Sophomore. Maybe that's yeah, what he. Maybe that's what. Yeah, their post player was a no, freshman. Akpar is a sophomore, but yes, that's maybe why they Tom needed. Him. Maybe Tom needed to see that they still lost, so he'll just say F it and just roll with it. Because I don't know. Maybe he just needed to see it fail one more time. Because he played – Booker played 17 minutes. If you're telling me he can't play 25 minutes at the age he is, then I don't know. Tell, like he can easily it's play not, 25 minutes. It's not he can play 20 minutes. He can play 20 minutes. I was talking about. That's not what I was talking about. I just think Izzo and his staff are so like – you know, it, they have their ways that have worked for whatever amounts of time. They see they're getting out rebounded when Booker was in. When Booker was in, we got out rebounded by like 15 rebounds. When he was out, we out rebounded them by like 15. And the old heads are going to be like, you got to rebound to win the basketball game. When Booker's out, we don't rebound. Which you do. It's fact. But, but you also got to have like, that's a rebounding is a whole team effort. It's not just one big man. That's not how rebounding works. <laughs> I mean, the big man you know, doing majority of the rebounding Hall. on Malik our team. Should be having, Malik Hall should have seven to eight rebounds a game. He's pretty big and can jump out of the gym. Like, put Cone Carr in and go grab boards, you know? Cone Carr is just as Carr unreliable on play. offense as Mighty Sissoko. He pulled him out. But this is the thing, though, and again, I'm saying it jokingly, but it's almost as like someone showed Tom the clip of me suggesting the lineup, and he said, oh, I'm going the exact opposite and putting him next to two centers who can't shoot either, and good luck, Cohen. Like, you're setting the kid up for absolute failure. You have three guys that can't score outside of five feet on the floor at the same time with Holloman and Walker. What are we doing? It's like the worst so, lineup. So one of the worst lineups I've ever seen in my life. No, like no joke. Is it's Tom is Williams washed. level bad? You think he's? You think he's washed? No, think it's I time. don't. Think it's over. I don't. Be honest. I don't. I don't think he's. Be washed. honest. I don't. You think? You think he's washed? I would need to see one more season. I would do. I would. Everyone said this his... last year too, and then they had some dumb Sweet Sixteen runs. So if they have a dumb Sweet Sixteen runs, everyone going to forget about it again? Uh, yes, yeah, that's how sports brains work. Correct, they will. <laughs> They're just going to yeah, be like, be ranked top five with a new class with the uh, the guys no, becoming we can't sophomores. Be top five. All those people yeah. are going to be gone. Watch it happen. The same thing just happened this year, Alex. Well, that was the first time we had preseason ranked in like three years. You guys are set up for the Sweet 16. You know, this is exact. You're watching the Juwan Howard season. We're not going to fall to an the number 11, one class. Though. Well, we could. You need to. You need to. We're, and yeah, we're to be like a nine. 
that. We're going to be a nine there, and get housed by a one. Just get ready for you it. Can't, you can't. Fans should have two you school of thoughts in their head where one, on one hand, this level of play is unacceptable given the expectations that Tom Izzo has set for himself in this program. But two, if we're being totally honest and just living in the moment, Dropping towards an eleven is better if you want to get to the Sweet Sixteen than being an eight or a nine. So in a yeah, weird the way, only problem is it's if you, not bad. <laughs> you got to lose out to drop to an eleven, and I don't want to drop that we far. Out, we have a sure. chance of missing. No, you you have to look at the rest of the bubble and be like, oh, like the rest of these teams are also dog shit and lose every week. So then we you like, don't oh, have a good track matter. record. No, I, agree I with checked bracketology today. You wouldn't make it. Bracketology doesn't mean shit, dude. It's people's opinions in there. Agreed. You're just talking- like the committee. It's just their opinions. That's all it is. Well, I, I so do have a question about the, bracketology, but can't back the give science or the numbers of off the bracketology. No, we can average like the the guys that are good at it with like Money been good at it in the past. When we were in the playing nah, game, does you're not going to get the be the playing game. You're not going to give matchups right. But we're going to play Virginia, North Carolina. Them. Who's in rematch this year? We're going to get Baylor on our the side. F- first four, 2021. COVID. Whatever. Oh, COVID. We're going to be the 11. Baylor's going to be the three. Somebody's going to be the six that we've already played. Pick We're somebody that we've already played this year. I agree with Evan's take that if you do lose out, you're not making the tournament. Lose out, you're not making Which the I, tournament. But I don't think you're going to lose out is my fact. point. I don't think we'll lose out for one. I wouldn't say it's a little guarantee that we, I don't know what would, what would we be seventeen and seventeen and 15? fifteen is like pretty gross. We made like the play-in doesn't... game at seventeen and fifteen last time. <laughs> well, um, that's what I'm trying to find. Like, was it that? Yeah, it was seventeen and fifteen and nine and eleven in the Big Ten. But you don't have those wins that you had. You had some big wins. Oh no! Yeah, we beat fif- Illinois, Ohio and tw- State, Michigan, and twelve. Well, yeah, I mean, because there was less games. We got we lost to Rutgers by thirty points that year. But you beat 30. number five Illinois, number four Ohio State, and number two Michigan all on a stretch, and you don't have anything close to that. You would not make the tournament if you went seventeen fifteen. I feel really good about that. But Wait, it won't nothing happen. Nothing sniffing. It's not that. gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. One of our best players. I don't know, man. Look at look, even look at the bubble teams. <laughs> look at the bubble teams. They deserve it more than us. No, Evan, they don't. They're bad. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they that don't. did come off. That came yeah. off bad, Alex. Something, something my throat. <laughs> Who's playing yes. good basketball right now? We are not. We were. Wake oh, Forest. Wake Evan, Forest just beat Duke. Tell me who is good playing good basketball. Tell me who's playing good basketball on the bubble. I don't know who's on the bubble. Wake Forest. I don't watch it Wake like Forest. everyone else. Wake Forest Wake playing Forest good basketball. lost earlier this week. What, they went one and one this week. Really good basketball. Got, better they than got, you. They have a better, better win you. than us. They Butler. have a better win than better. us. How about Butler? Butler's on the bubble. I didn't say Butler's in playing good basketball right now. We'll get to that. Villanova. Shut up. They're on the bubble. Evans. They just lost by 25 points. I did not say Villanova. St. John's. <laughs> Texas a and They're on the bubble. They lost four games in a row. St. John's, one and five. I've said teams that are six. playing good right now. There aren't any, Evan. That's my point. Name one. Wait for us. St. John's. They're Wait not. For us. Those Minnesota teams are Orange. not playing well. Minnesota. Being Duke is playing well. That's playing well. They won at home against Duke in a game they had to win. They also uh, lost this C- week. Seton Hall. Seton Hall is playing well. We didn't do that this week. It's in college basketball. It anybody can beat anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until I mean, we get to March, you, dude. This no, I'm not even 16. saying that. <laughs> Evan's lashing out at the fan base, not just you, Alex. <laughs> I didn't even say anything after the game. I said nothing. Yeah, yeah I, that's how I knew you were. You know, I didn't say anything. The whole, did that I, really I'm still waiting for a good it? team on the bubble. I'm still Wake waiting. Forest. Wake Forest, <laughs> Alex. You cannot pick and choose. We gave you one right away. You can't shoot that down. We gave you one. I can. I can. Yes. Wake Forest, is better not than us. Wake Forest would beat us right now. <laughs> and then, come on. Now, no, we're not true. that good. I mean, Just admit it. You can't. We had the same role three weeks ago. We're not that good. I agree, but no. Okay, thank you. These other shitty teams aren't. You saying that we would just beat Wake Forest is like is idiotic because we just lost to a bad Ohio State team at home who hasn't won a game since January first, twenty twenty three, on the road. Who has an interim head coach and plays a lot of freshmen and sophomores. So you tell me the reason why we lost. They beat Purdue. So you tell me the reason why you think we're better than some (laughs) bubble teams. Why? Because we have a tournament streak. 
Because, that's the only thing that's because, left. Because we beat Baylor by 20. We beat Illinois. Those are decent teams. Baylor. That, that had a bad Baylor has played. But if we have one good win, it's Baylor. That's it. That's it. Illinois doesn't count. Mm, Illinois at uh, home. I mean, you should, you oh, should be no, Illinois at home. Wake Forest at home against Duke. Wake Forest, Alex. That's, Colorado. That's fair. Seton Hall. Colorado? They had lost four games in a row not that long ago. Nebraska. Seton Hall. I'll, I'll give you Seton Hall. Nebraska? Seton sure, Hall's playing does. It's pretty exactly. much like with those teams, I think you just split a home and home. That's basically what it is. So I don't yeah, think you're that's clearly better problem. than any of them. Yeah, I don't think we're clearly worse us. than any of them. And we're getting ahead of ourselves because you still would have to lose four more games. Providence. Well, we're going to lose us. the next game. No. Yeah, I agree. No. They beat Butler by 20. At, Come on. If you went to Providence at night, no, see, you this mean win. Shit. But if you hosted them, you'd win. None of this does. None of your arguments mean shit either. You're just saying just because we lost – if you go back a week before we lost these two games and we now, have this conversation, you'd be week, like, oh, yeah. We, the, those are two of the worst losses. Yes, but you'd be like, cupcake oh, we would beat this team. Oh, we would beat this team. Now you lose no. two games and it's, oh, you not lose me. every single team you play. Not you. Not me. No, I not, that's not true. Fans. I'm just saying – Do not count Penn State and Michigan as your two wins to get you back in. Sorry, Evan. No, it's 100%. But you just – there's other teams out there that are just like us that we would lose to. Yes. And there's we would also beat. Who would we beat? Who would we beat? We could so beat track all those teams that we named. don't. What's our <laughs> what's our quad one? What's our quad one record right now? One and three, two and three quad one wins. Two and thirteen? Three, three and three and seven. Three I think. and three and seven, yeah. I looked at it because I was comparing Butler to Michigan State, but you guys are still a lot higher than us in the net, unfortunately. So I had to shut so, my mouth. <laughs> quad one, Alex. <laughs> Evan, I'm not telling you that they're an elite basketball team. I'm telling you they can beat bubble teams. That's it. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you we can lose. And to I think it's fair. Teams. Well, that's that's what I call dramatic because a week ago you wouldn't have said that. I the think the basketball you guys are team isn't any man. different than it was a week ago. I think well, yeah, actually it is. It's two losses worse than it was last week. 